Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at spreadsheet advanced functions. And in the last video, we looked at lesson five, if and nested functions. So we looked at using if with two and or with an and to check for multiple logical tests. And we used the uh, extract functions, so the left and the right, to output a true or false value. And in this example, this was a nested um, if statement with multiple conditions. Um, using a mid function to check for certain values and each logical test had a different output. Okay, so just before we move on to part two, I want to do this task here. So we have a table, okay, we have some names, we have a form teacher code, and we need to complete this table here. So use an if statement and a VLOOKUP to work out the form teacher room and floor number. Okay, use um, the less than more than uh, to make sure you have no error messages. Okay, so if I was to do something like this, guys, uh, which is a VLOOKUP, I can look up the form teacher code to output the form teachers. So if I did something like this, uh, if I looked up the form teacher code, comma, the table array, which is this one here, comma, uh, column index, we want to extract from the second column to get a form teacher and exact match. We, this value here will exactly match up with these values here. You will see the first one works, but if I drag this down, here's an NA message. So we don't want to show the error message. Um, so what we can do is, there's lots of different things that we can do actually, but I'll show you one of the things. Uh, let's get rid of um, what we did before. We're going to check for something. So equals if. If this cell here is not blank, so this means if this cell here is not blank, then if that's true, we're going to do the VLOOKUP. So I know this is not blank. We have some letters in here or a letter. So if it's not true, okay, if it's not blank, then we can do a VLOOKUP. Okay, so we can look up this value here. This is the table array. Just carry on as normal, comma, two, comma, exact match. Uh, let's close the brackets for the VLOOKUP. So that's if it was true. So if this cell here is not blank, then we can just go and carry on and do the VLOOKUP. So in this case, it's not blank. We have some um, text in here. But if it was blank, the false value, we can just return a speech mark. So for example, this is blank here, the second cell then we can do the speech marks to return an empty space rather than a NA message. Okay, so even if I was to delete this one, we're not getting an error message anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and do the room number. So equals if. Again, we're checking to see if this cell is not blank, so that's not. And if that's true, we will do the VLOOKUP to get the room number. So the room number is in this column here. Uh, no, it's in, in the third column. So again, we can look up this code here because these codes match up with what's in the table array. Uh, we can highlight three columns in a table, comma, three, because we want to output the room number and exact match. Close the brackets comma, and then we can have speech marks if there was a blank space. Um, just to finish off, guys, I want to get a floor. You can also do it like this, um, so equals if. What we can say, if this cell is equals to a blank space, and if that's true, we turn a blank space. But if it's not true, Okay, then we can do the VLOOKUP. So this is the other way of doing it. So if this cell is equal to a blank space, and if it was true, we can just return a blank space. Or if you wanted to, you could write something in the speech marks, but for now, we'll just leave as it is. So let's do the VLOOKUP, if it's false in this example. Uh, lookup value, this comma. This is your table array, so we want to go all the way to the fourth column now. Comma, four, comma, exact match. Close the brackets and close the bracket again, enter. So floor two, A is floor two, uh, B should be G, and C should be one. So let's drag this down, and we don't have any error messages. 
Okay, guys, so what we're doing here is uh, we're not embedding any functions. We're just basically using the less than more than um, as a not to check if something is um, blank. Um, so the point of this video is to make sure we don't return any error messages uh, like you saw at the start of this task. Okay, so join me guys in the next video. What we're going to be doing is lesson five, uh, part two. Okay, so we're going to be using if statements and VLOOKUPs together. Thank you for your time. Please drop your comments below. Um, good luck in your revision, guys.